edit. Hi, I'm Bonnie Lawfer, marketing consultant with Forseen. Frantic Films is one of Toronto's top production companies and the first to use Forseen in Canada for season two of the hit reality series, Buy It, Fix It, Sell It. I recently spoke with post-production and operations manager Stephanie Fast and lead assist John McKinnon about their Forseen experience. Let's hear what they had to say. We were just starting a new show, uh, second season of Buy It, Fix It, Sell It, and the workflow really interested me for that particular show because of the way that it's edited and the way w that we put the whole thing together. Um, and I thought from a story editor perspective, it could be a very good tool. I was excited about it. Um, I, I love new technology, and a lot of the past jobs, I've roles, roles I've had is uh, kind of developing with new, like implementing new software and creating new workflows. So anything that can make it something more efficient or whatever, it just really excites me. First and primary thing was access to the platform, just that it could be from anywhere at any time. I thought that we were going to be using that a little more, that people wouldn't be in the office. It turned out that people are in the office generally working, but I think that's a really great tool for producers in particular. We have an office in Winnipeg as well as Toronto, so our executive producer is not in this Toronto office. So I thought for them, seeing dailies, it would be a super tool. So we would go to a big shoot day, it would get uploaded for us, and it was very quick organizing it all. Um, just being able to drag a, a folder and drop it on, and, and just the some of the things I haven't seen before, um, the smear for the video and the audio, just to very quickly be able to tell without scrubbing through it all what came from where. Just you could see the color, right? You could tell where it was shot. And so you just kind of make a rough cut and lob that off into this section and that goes over there. So it was, it was very quick to sort through the footage. Just on the story editor front, usually what we have to do is pull quick times of everything. And this show was in production from September to late January and there was a lot of material being shot. I had one amazing assistant, but still it would have been a lot to pull quick times just for the purpose of people seeing the footage. So this allowed story editors to see things the next day and to um, view it without us having to produce those files. Just it sped everything up, it was quicker. To be able to have the functionality of a full workstation on a laptop or whatever you were using to be able to do more at the same time was just, it was awesome. Very user friendly versus like learning an Avid. It's completely different. It's just more intuitive as, as for the user who doesn't know anything about post-production necessarily, but it also has some of those same elements that you see in Avid, which is pretty neat. Like the way that you view the windows and the timelines on the bottom. So you, you sort of have the same sense, but it's just more easy to, it's more easy to navigate. I was able to get into it right away. The tutorials were very helpful and it's very user friendly. Like it's, it's great. The difference between an Avid and that would be with an Avid, you need a lot of training and it's, it's intimidating, right? You, it's hard to just go in and just do the simple things you need to do. But for scene kind of allows somebody who's very new to editing, to just you know use the surface tools and get through what they, they can get through it themselves and that they can navigate it easily, but it also has you know the robust uh, tools of the Avid to go as deep as you want and do do more functions. They would do little one-on-one -on -one tutorials. We felt very special, <laughs> uh, but it was great just because it was so new here and we were using it in a different way than they do in the UK. I think we came through some challenges and we were able to talk to them about how we would how things would work better or how the sort of the layout or what might work better from a per our perspective. So they were very uh, open to that conversation. Yeah, it was great. We had you know almost instant feedback and because we were one of the first people using it you know that we kind of had an open mic to, to discuss what we liked or didn't like and some of the changes came really quickly the multicam I loved it was just so quick and easy because um, in Avid it, you have to clip and sub clip and to make it all neat and tidy whereas in Forcing you put each camera's clips to their own folder and it's one click and it's done for you Having been through the season, I, if we were to start over, I would have done 
lots of stuff differently to be able to maximize the functionality of the program. I think instead of uh, making foreseen kind of stick to our current workflow, we would start the other way around. We would look at the, all the capabilities of foreseen and go out from there just to be able to maximize its functionality. Here it's, very, it's quite new, it's a new product and people are just starting to talk about it in the business. It's just sort of becoming a little hum amongst post-production people.